could be finishing second best in their group. So, confirmation of a starting 11. Front accord, the Frex trade accord, rather, just get a start once again. And then Julius Polotto, as well as Abubakar Kasule. One player that has been exceptional in this tournament so far, the captain, Mohamed Shaban, as well as uh, Steven Mukwala. Brilliant to watch. A very brilliant to watch. And the, he's a kid on the block. Uh, he, he's playing for KCCA team that, uh, that is playing in the African Champions League. And what a, a tender age, you know, getting that experience of playing in the Champions League, uh, you are most likely, you know, to grow. If you keep your feet rooted on the ground, keep your head focused on the goal, uh, you're most likely to go far. He has got all the attributes of being a great player. He just needs uh, to be handled well and to be able to compete. But also, this is a development uh, tournament, so you need to give as many uh, opportunities to all your charges so that when you get into the semi-finals... Right here by Uganda. Do you have some of uh, what on the far side of the field? It is still Uganda going forward. They haven't been able to get Mukwala involved at all in this game so far. He's been well watched here yeah, from uh, the uh, Ugandan side. Uh, that's an up and under and a goalkeeper tipping it over the crossbar. The first one of this game. Nice, you have a look at this. Just dipping and the keeper was very close and cleverly tipping it over the crossbar. Maybe behind for a corner kick. Cross coming from Julius Polotto. Not a bad one at all, I've got to say. Was he crossing the ball or was trying? <laughs> I think he saw where the keeper it was in. It is Polotto once again on the bar line. Acted here going forward. It is Kuji Kagimo into the penalty area. And what said the referee? Corner kick will be corner kick given. Corner kick it will be. A lot of questions have been asked about us. We're just on a different level. Given the fact that this is a regional tournament, I think the call for the video assistant referees can make uh, can make sense now. <laughs> now let's see the ball coming in here from uh, the Gandan. That is a wait wasted opportunity. Seven minutes and a bit already in the first half of this match between Swaziland and I mean, I really had fun in Muruleng. You know, uh, the so collected near side of a field by Kiza. Yes, the you give it back again, so that is very important. So that's a long point. And they played scored first by the eventually lost the game by two goals to one in the match they played against uh, the opening game where they won by two goals to nil. They really had to work very hard against Botswana. So the player number two, Fred Court, who was a key defender in the defense of goalless draw, the only draw so far we have had in this tournament. So that's between the two and natural uh, instinct, you know, like a sniff at goal. Whenever there's an opportunity, you always find none other than that particular, uh, you know, gift, that sniffing of the goal. And uh, if they, you know, you, you drift out of the, go of, uh, of the game for some good. Off the bench in a previous one is 18 years, by the way. Uh, his, his charges, the uh, first team, that they should try to close down those... So you need people to all get involved. Now, here comes Uganda, far side of the field now against Swaziland. It's a long ball played in towards the... They have to dig deep, you know, to try and, and, uh, and win uh, this game. Mm, yes, I remember those days when uh, you were at school. You so, yeah, the likes of Waswa, Mujuni, Mustafa, Mujuni, uh, they are all having uh, their standing bad. I think they need to cut out of that. Start ball onto the striker, hold it, check how whether he's receiving it well, give him options so that he can receive and they continue playing. First half. Uh, James Odoj, you're talking of uh, players who never had an opportunity. Uh, when we, no, I'm, uh, I beg my pardon, uh, for this uh, young uh, Chipolo Polo team. Uh, the for 9.8... Mustafa Kiza. Right. Oh, that's a good ball, but first touch, not the best of touches coming through from uh, Julius Polotto. Oh, good skills. Making up for it. He had left his marker for dead. He made a mistake, but the recovery was brilliant from uh, Polotto. The young man, you know, expressing himself, you know. Uh, <laughs> a very good, uh, you know, uh, professional foul just made look good. 
So here comes Uganda. Yeah. Yeah, getting involved. Running line in the line on the near side of a field. Let's get a top pass. Beats one. Julius Pulotto goes to the ground. It will be said that uh, Okligi Shagi was the captain of under 17 in their play. Uh, this is Boroto being taken uh, taken <laughs> down by uh, Msimbisi Dilamini. In the under 20, there is available uh, talent at his pool, and I'm sure uh, Uganda will shine. Deep here, it is Isiagi looking for support. Uh, that was a good challenge as well coming through for, to deny. Indirect freaky given to Uganda. But because uh, if you, Alan Okero, you know, he came on as a substitute uh, against Zambia. You can see he has worked here. Uh, uh, more of the same player. Yes, he's right footed, not left footed. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, um, uh, this young man uh, covers huge, huge uh, spaces in Tumwes. Mandile Zamini today for Swaziland. Good 10, yeah, for Uganda. For the goal. Swandile Gunene does well. Gets a goal kick for his country. Now, 25 minutes on a pick out a run on the blind side. Julius Pelotto arriving, but too much on that as well. The kick, Mate. Pelotto, far side of a field. Ball played early.